so what I put in here is some olive oil, uh, chopped yellow onion in pretty large pieces. I put in a few slices of jalapeno and tons and tons of garlic. This is getting closer. Um, still has a little ways to go, but you can see the browning. You don't want to brown it so much that it gets soggy. You still want a crispy onion, but just really brown. Okay, it looks pretty good here. So I'm gonna put um, turkey, ground turkey. That's a pound. I'll probably do another pound just because I like having leftovers. So here's two pounds. I've patted it down and put, pressed down on it. So it's almost like a flat pancake. It will cook faster that way. And um, you really don't want to have any, you know, undercooked uh, ground turkey. I'm going to season the ground turkey with um, garlic salt and um, a little pepper. Oh, should be a little, oh, sorry. No, it's not too, it's not bad. <laughs> I put in a handful of uh, little carrots, and these are the baby carrots. They're really small ones. They're not very thick. There's some baby carrots that are thick, but these are the thin ones. You don't even need to uh, chop them in half or anything. It's great. I just put in some avocado that, um, I didn't cut the avocado. I scooped it out with a spoon. It's easy and it's just kind of neat. And they're kind of bigger chunks. And I love avocado, so that's why I do it that way. A lot of times I'll put two avocados in, but this time I'm just gonna put one. We could talk about the bowl a little bit. It's acacia wood, acacia ware, and uh, acacia is a very hard wood, um, so it will not absorb the oils or the flavors um, of the elements that we put in. Very hard, very beautiful, by the way. It's, they're amazing on the, just even when they're not using them, just to put them on the countertop, they're awesome. Um, but they're, they resist penetration by liquids and they're hygienic. Uh, no mold can, can really grow in it. Um, there are several reasons why, but that's not the point of this video. Um, but I just wanted to let you know, this is all made out of one piece of wood. It's super cool. And the uh, flavors will mix nicely in a bowl like this, where you have a really hard bowl versus like a maple bowl or something that is unfinished that absorbs the liquids. Okay, so the ground turkey is now getting to the point where it should be flipped. You can see I chopped it even smaller, even smaller pieces because we're going to chop it down further. So let me try this. <clears throat> if you look at it, let's look at it. Um, yeah, you can see how it's, it's, you know, maybe you could lose a little more time. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to turn it and it doesn't really matter. If you do it early, big deal, no big deal. You know, you just cook it, you know same. They could also turn up, turn it up to high, which I did before I turned on the camera here, and it will start cooking faster and give you a, uh, see how it's getting brown? That's what you want. Perfect. This is good. This is good. This is good. That wasn't as brown, but you get what I'm talking about. While I was scavenging the refrigerator for, for elements, ingredients, I found these, an open jar of jalapeno stuffed olives. Yay, this is perfect. So I'm gonna put some of those in. I cut about, oh, like five olives because you don't want it to overwhelm the salad. You just want it to be in a, a, like a spice. So I'll grab those and throw those in. Looking pretty good. I don't know. The ground turkey is pretty much done. There's a little red in there, so I might let it go a few, couple more minutes on the heat. But once that happens, once it's done, which it pretty much is, uh, I'm going to turn off the heat and let it sit for you know at least a minute, and uh, the liquid should go back into the meat. Okay, so you can see the liquid has pretty much been absorbed by the meat. 
Now there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can take the meat and put it in a bowl, just the meat, and then you can toss your salad and have the salad separate so that people can either be vegetarian, have a vegetarian salad, or have a salad with meat. I am not vegetarian, so I am going to combine the salad with the meat. I might leave a little meat uh, left, uh, but probably not, probably just put it all in there because um, we're gonna put some dressing and hot sauce, which the meat will also absorb. I'm gonna dress the salad, and I use something very funny, you're gonna laugh. Gerard's dressing, the champagne dressing, you don't have to use a lot, and there's, you know, this is just in my, my refrigerator, so I didn't have to do anything special, and there's probably just enough. And then I also use La Victoria Salsa Brava, which is a hot uh, sauce, so, you can also leave that on the side and not put it on for people who don't want the spicy. But I'm gonna do it because what I like to do is I'll have dinner and then I'll the leftovers I'll put in a bowl, smaller bowl, put it in the refrigerator and then I can snack on it and it's super healthy. Okay, so I put the Girards in, I put the hot sauce in, I'm going to toss the salad. And it's really fun and colorful and great. So there you have it, the tossed, easy, quick taco salad for the person who works and wants to come home and wants something good and easy to do.